Hi friends, in today's video we will be unboxing the QNAP ES1686DC, the next generation Enterprise ZFS dual controller NAS. Great, now that your NAS system has arrived from Simply NAS, let's open it up and take a look what's inside. You'll find a styrofoam box with a lid. Inside the box, are one, two, three, four gigabit LAN cables. There's also one and two power cords. Now let's take a look at the other box. This is our rail kit. This rail kit is going to be installed in the NAS system so you can pull it in and out of your rack. Next, our accessories box that comes with all NAS systems. You have a QNAP quick install manual and you have one and two more Ethernet cables. You'll also find one control cable. Now, because your NAS system came with drives installed, some of the screws or all of the screws may not be included. These are smaller screws for your PCIe adapters. The black screws are for your SSDs. Here are hard drive labels. Now, these are your NAS ear clips. They go clipped on to each side of your NAS system. Now, keep in mind, and very, very important, when lifting the NAS system, always use two people. The NAS system is very heavy. We have Jacob helping us out. And as I mentioned, it is extremely heavy and sometimes awkward to lift out of the box. Two people are highly recommended. Gently set your NAS down. Keep in mind that all the components are very sensitive, including the hard drives. Now, let's take a close look at the EC1686DC from QNAP. As you can see here, it's a 16 hard drive NAS system. If you note, the first four drives are for the operating system. Now, let's take a look at the side. It comes with very convenient handles for lifting up the NAS system when installing, as well as when uninstalling and bringing down your NAS system. Let's take a look at the back. Now, in the back, now you'll notice that there is two of each. This is a dual controller system. Now, We'll start from the top right. This is our power supply. Below that is our ethernet connection. You'll notice there's three of them. Below that are two USB 3 connections. Next is a battery. And next to that are four 10 gigabit ethernet SFP plus ports. This is your battery backup unit or BBU. If a sudden power loss occurs, the BBU enables the right to cache data protection and at the same time the data is replicated to a backup controller to achieve 100% data integrity. Now let's take a look at the hardware of the EC1686DC. Now let's start with the CPU. The system comes, comes with an Intel Xeon D2100 series processor. It is a D2142IT. Here are our RAM slots. Each controller comes equipped with eight RAM slots. The RAM is DDR4-2133 ECC memory. It's a quad channel DDR4 EC memory. 
for up to 512 gigs of memory per controller. Here is our NV RamWrite cache with battery data protection. Here are two PCIe Gen 3 X8 slots. Supports 10 gigabit ethernet, 40 gigabit ethernet network cards, or SAS expansion cards for greater application potential. Here are our system fans. Very easy to remove and replace. In active active storage system architecture, both controllers are able to provide a complete range of services, which is different active standby architecture of a single controller system. The active active architecture does not have dual controller NAS, high reliability, and high availability. Reliability is a priority for mission critical business applications. The ES1686 adopts dual active active controllers to provide the most reliable base for business IT storage. Whether being used as a mission critical file server, virtualization server, VDI, medium sized data center, video streaming, surveillance storage, and efficient file backup and recovery. The ES1686DC helps your business to achieve service level agreements for performance and uptime. For more information about the QNAP ES1686DC, feel free to reach out to us. You can contact us by email at sales at simplynas.com or visit our website for more information. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe. Also, turn on your notification to see more videos like these. Thank you.